Hey, what is going on everyone? Welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video, I wanna go over why I'm having so much success with the ASFX systems and having Austin as my mentor. Before I go any further within the video, I've been getting a lot of messages about why I'm no longer with my old trading educator. The truth is there was absolutely nothing wrong with my trading educators that taught me how to trade in the beginning of my journey. I wouldn't be here with, without them basically and they've taught me so many valuable lessons and given me so much insight and knowledge into trading. So I'm very thankful and very grateful for all the help and all the effort they have put in. So the question is why after so many months have I all of a sudden found so much success in a short period of time with ASFX? The biggest advantage for me that kind of separates my growth from my old trading educators is that everyone is on the same page. We are all learning the same systems. We are all understanding the same language and the same terminology. With my old trading educators, basically, because everyone was building their own systems, we all had the same similar understanding of how the market moves, and we all understood the, the very basic fundamentals about market structure. So we could all read price the same, but everyone's trading system, everyone's edge was very different and, and kind of unique to their own. So as you can imagine, when we are all the traders are in the Discord group and we are seeing trades set up, we can bounce off each other and kind of, we all understand the same language and terminology. That right there is a massive contributing factor to my growth because we are all on the same page and everyone's seeing the same pattern, the repeatable pattern that gives us our edge. I've said this in another video as well, but the reason why the ASFX system really clicks with me a lot is because of the indicators we use. It helps us keep on the right side of the market and it takes away a lot of subjectivity um, just looking at a price chart. It also helps filter out bad probability setups as well and it kind of just gives a cleaner picture of the overall market structure. So once again, this is just my personal experience. There is nothing wrong about people that trade pure price action and no indicators or the next person trading with heaps of indicators. Everyone's gonna have their own unique edge and their own unique personality towards trading. And that is what makes trading so unique to every individual. So coming back to the ASFX indicators that we use, we only use two indicators. We use the EMAs and we use a indicator called the TDI, which stands for the Traders Dynamic Index. These two indicators give a much clearer picture of what's happening in the market. And it also keeps us, like I was saying before, it helps keep us on the right side of the market. So we're not buying when overall trend is in a downtrend and we're not selling when the overall trend is an uptrend. So having these two indicators has helped my trading tremendously. And because we are trading on the lower time frames of the ASFX systems, it helps filter out a lot of the noise that you can get on you know, the 15 minute, the five minute, and the one minute charts. This extra clarity using these, those two indicators has transformed my trading and it just clicks with my personality so much as a trader. As when I first started this journey, I always kind of leaned toward more of a day trading approach. You know, more of an intraday trader being in the trades and out of the trades within a few hours, if not under an hour. The clarity of the EMAs has also just cleared up a lot of my confusion with reading market structure and trends within the market as well. It's as simple as if price is above the EMAs, we're in an uptrend. Price is below the EMAs, we're in a downtrend. And that's as simple as it gets. There is no need to overcomplicate it. Now, adding in the TDI, which I was saying before, which is the Traders Dynamic Index, adding in that indicator and when the TDI is telling the same story as the EMAs, that's when you can find really high probability trade setups and that keeps you on the right side of the market. And with using all your other confluences as well, such as price action and market structure, this is when the ASFX system really shines and really clicks for me. Now, this brings me to my other point. If you're against indicators, that's totally fine. I believe 95% of trading strategies out there um, actually work. But if that trading strategy or system does not fit your personality, you are not gonna trade it, you're not gonna believe in the system, and it's not gonna be very profitable for you at all. A trading strategy must fit your beliefs on the market and it must fit your personality as well. If you are, let's for example, if you find a strategy online and it uses, let's say, Fibonacci, for example, to you know, place the trades, entries, targets, whatever. If you don't believe in Fibonacci, you are not gonna execute those trades because you don't have that market belief and you don't have the confidence to pull the trigger, which is gonna result in poor performance on that strategy and you will lose money trading it. So you gotta remember that it's not the trading strategy, it is the trader. And if there is too much subjectivity in your trading plan, you're gonna to have too much conflict and you're gonna be pulled you know, left to right and you're not gonna be able to pull the trigger because you're just not gonna have that confidence in your system because like I was saying before, your beliefs in the market and your beliefs on using like indicators, for example, 
um, aren't going to allow you to pull the trigger on your trades. So what I was just describing was pretty much me. So I developed and tested my own trend following system, only to transition into forward testing and not being able to execute on my trades because of the subjectivity in my trading plan. I didn't believe in what I was doing and I didn't couldn't make sense of the overall market structure just using pure price action. So when I was doing my back testing, yeah, in hindsight, you can make out like, hey, this is exactly a trend, this is what I'm looking for. But when you go into a live market and you're watching the candles print, that is a totally different emotional game. And when you're trying to pull the trigger, um, especially when you're trying to test it properly, forward testing it on a demo account, there was just way too much subjectivity for me and it just, it kind of paralyzed me really. I couldn't execute my trades and it just left me really frustrated with all this effort I put in, all these months and hard work of developing and testing a strategy that at the end of the day, it didn't even fit my personality as a trader because it was more of a swing trading system. And at the end of the day, in the back of my head, I always just wanted to be more of an intraday trader. I didn't want to hold trades, you know, for more than a day. And these trades that I was taking would last more than more than a week sometimes. So when I first joined up to ASFX, for the first time after 18 months, I was profitable for four months in a row. So I signed up in April 2020. And April, May, June, and July, I was profitable all four months. The only reason I was so profitable is because I was so confident in my ability to take these trades because it was so rules-based. It eliminates 99% of subjectivity and it is up to us as the trader to put in that extra work and that extra 1%. That extra 1% of that hard work you guys put in will make the world of difference. You can't just expect to get the strategy and that's it. If you wanna be here for the long term, you have to put in the work. And a lot of the guys and girls in the ASFX community, I believe that the way Austin teaches and the way he mentors, he really drives home the point that a lot of our work is done off the charts. And that is how we develop and grow as a trader. And that's why I believe I'm having so much more success within the ASFX system. It's just because everything matches with me and really clicks with my personality. And it just it really gets me excited and just fills me up with just so much joy, just being able to surround myself with people that are understanding the same, the same system and the same rules and we're all seeing the same thing. It's just a community that's full of growth and just a lot of potential. Finding the correct mentor that suits your personality and has the same values and beliefs as you, how much more growth you can get from that. So it's not that my old educator was bad. Um, truth is I wouldn't be here without them. And like I was saying before, I'm so grateful for everything they have taught and all the effort they have put in and the value they have shared and all the knowledge they have given me about trading. I just needed something a little more personal, a little more tailored. Also want to give a quick shout out to all my new subscribers on YouTube. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you guys can get notified with my new content. And if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up. Hope you guys have a great day wherever you're in the world and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.